The following video demonstrates how to convert 2D AutoCAD DXF data back into 3D information which can be modelled in Enforce. We'll begin by going to the CAD folder, right clicking and choosing Import. We'll select the river file. Press OK. Alright, so I've read the information in. And we've got the layers as we'd normally expect to see them. And even though we have 3D information here, we're going to pretend for the purpose of the demo that it is in fact only 2D. If I look at the data set, I'll begin by turning off the layers that I know I don't need. So I'll make the bottom bank current. And I'll scroll down, select text, sections and grid, turn those off, together with the contours. So when I zoom into the model now, we can see spot levels with some text next to them as well as obviously the, the feature strings. We'll begin by trying to reverse engineer this drawing by using just the text itself. Now Enforce Professional and Designer are able to actually read the text string and create a, a 3D survey point for us but it will be at the justification point of the text rather than the survey cross that you see on the screen because in the DXF file there's actually no link between the two. If I ask Enforce to show me the bounding boxes around those pieces of text, you can see here, here, here and here and so on that we're not going to get crosses or rather we're not going to get points generated in exactly the right place. So there's obviously an immediate error incurred in generating points this way but if it's the only data set you have then you may have to make do. So I'll put that back to explain the text normally. Come out of here and I'll go down to the models folder because Enforce Professional Designer can create the data directly into a model they don't have to go via a coordinate block. I do new, normal, I'm going to call this one points from text press OK, camera that, and use the back off the tool, move it over, and I'm also going to change the colour of the back cloth model so that I can tell what I've just generated as opposed to what was in the original CAD model. Press OK and zoom to extends. There we can see it. So we now have our DXF information in the background. To begin the process we go to the points menu come down to generate and choose from text in this situation. As you can see we have other options here. We can generate points from CAD from almost any element that you can imagine. However for the moment we'll just stick with the text. Enforce begins by asking us how do we want to calculate the height. If it was 3D information we would just say use the assigned height. In this situation we'll say text value. Text extract forces Enforce to actually examine the text strings more clearly and extract text if it's buried within a text string such as finished floor level or FFL equals 10.2 so if you have that sort of annotation on screen you need to use the extract option but as we just have numbers here we can just say text value point code SL that's all we need to do for the moment okay my picking mode is rectangle already so I'll just rectangle the job and there we go. You can see it's done something. So if we zoom in to have a look. So I'll just alter the code of the spot level so we can tell the difference between the codes that I've just created and the ones that were in the back cloth. Okay, so as you can see it's quite obvious that we have variable errors involved here because we've used the justification point of the text rather than the cross on screen. However, if we create a DTM, we do have a ground model of sorts. If we trim the triangles out, go to the 3D view, you can see that we have a ground model, it's, it's pretty rough and ready and not particularly uh, tidy but like I said before if it's all you have to go on then it will uh, have to make do. It is actually possible to get enforced to position the points 
in the correct place from using the text however it's a manual process just to illustrate it we'll go through it now but it's obviously not a particularly favourable option not when you've got so many pieces of text to, to get through so I'll start a new model and we'll call this one points from text indicated so we'll repeat the process zoom to extents. What we'll do is we'll come in and we'll say points this time and we'll come down to insert. So the insertion method is going to be sketched but the height calculation is going to be indicated text i.e. you indicate the point then you indicate the text that corresponds to the height of that point. So it's spot level as the code again. I press OK. So to make it easier on myself I'll change my locking mode to symbol because I know that's what these crosses are. If we zoom in, Enforce is saying indicate position of new point. So I click the cross, I click the text, click the cross, click the text, so on and so on. However, as there's obviously quite a few pieces of text to indicate, this option is really only viable on small surveys. Another way of reverse engineering the DXF would actually be to use the contours. So we'll try a third way. Go to models, new, normal, and I'll call this model points from contours. I must first turn the contours back on because at the moment they're turned off. So I can do it in the project manager. I'll select the normal contour, make it the current layer. turn everything else off except the other contour layer which I'll make active. If I go to my model now, go to the camera, backlot it again. This time I'll put the colour back to the normal colour on a default. Press OK. Zoom to extents, there we go. And if I zoom into a contour or other a series of contours we can see that we have a series of, of lines broken by the annotation that represents their heights. To get the heights back we can go to the points menu, come down to generate, come down to contours, indicate. And What we do is we click the contour, or rather all the contours at a particular height, right click, click the text, and for says what code you want to use, press OK, and then repeat right click, click the text, OK, so on, and so on, and so on. Obviously this will take a little bit of time but again depending on the type of data you have available it might be your only option. And this concludes generating points from 2D information in Enforce Pro and Designer.